five must hold cryptos that you need in your bag for this next upcoming bull run that could happen imminently to what I think max 100 days until it commences. So we're gonna cover the coins. We're gonna go in order of top holding or most important to least important out of the top five. We're gonna have a bonus coin at the end and we're gonna cover the reason why we hold each coin as well too. Because it's not just to hold a coin because it's gonna go to a moon. You need to hold a coin because you know why it will go to the moon. And that will give you more conviction to hold through the roller coaster ride because it's not easy. It's not easy, but if you know what you hold, you'll be able to run through the roller coaster ride, through all the ups and downs, and get to the promised land. So if you're new here, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a like and a comment, as well as let me know what coin you want me to do a 2024 bull run price prediction for. We already did it for XRP, XLM, Quant, Adara, and a bunch of other coins. I'll link the playlist with all those in the description of this video, because it's not gonna be about price targets, it's just about the must hold coins and why. But then you can watch those videos after the fact and see where I think those coins could potentially head to for a mini moon, medium moon, and mega moon. So number one, of course, XRP, it's the holy grail, it's the one, it's the chosen one. XRP because they're partnering with these traditional institutions to have money move as fast as information today, like sending an email. The market of money in that total addressable market where XRP could reach super high price levels is so mad. We're talking about money. You know, money's the biggest market and XRP is tackling that market by being the underpinning and that bridge currency between two different currencies to speed up the way money moves. Partnering with multiple central banks and pilots already going is clearly top dog going into this next bull market, especially with the SC case and XRP being declared not a security for secondary sales. Massive, massive opportunity, I think, with XRP. It's been my number one since all the way back here, all the way back here, you know, a long time. So XRP, I think, is going to have a massive bull run um, coming around here and is definitely number one must hold for this next upcoming bull run here when we're seeing the merge and the collide of this traditional system and this new financial system that's right on the horizon. And XRP Ripple is leading the charge to bridge and connect those two different worlds together. So XRP, number one. Then... We got XLM number two. So XLM is number two, and that's because it's like brother and sister, gold and silver. XRP working with these legacy institutions, working mainly with wholesale CBDC and speeding up the way money moves between governments, banks, corporations. I believe XLM you know, is going to be for retail, speeding up the way money moves for us, um, person to person, peer to peer partnering with the likes of MoneyGram, partnering with the likes of Zelle, and being that back-end infrastructure to facilitate and have stable coins like USDC being launched on Stellar, Stellar-based USDC, partnering with United Nations, partnering with MoneyGram, doing Stellar Aid. I believe that during these next five years, there's gonna be a lot of hardship. There's gonna be a lot of relief to be given and needed. So XLM is leading the charge and speeding up the way money moves across borders person to person. So XLM, definitely number two. And XLM has half the supplies at XRP, but both of them are super fast. They're both in line with the ISO 222 standard, as well as they're dealing with the biggest market in the world, and that's money. And being that bridge mechanism, that bridge currency, that those value transfer, value exchange mechanisms. When I, I'd rather hold Stellar and XRP than any fiat currency because XRP and XLM are anything you want it to be. It could be a rupee. It could be US dollars. It could be a euro. Like it could be gold, tokenized gold. It could be tokenized real estate. These two coins are like multi-currencies. They're, they're anything. Just like how Uphold, you can convert anything to anything. I can convert tokenized gold into XLM or XRP or to Bitcoin into tokenized stocks. Like the interledger on the back end of that is enabling that seamless transfer of anything into anything. And XLM and XRP are the two coins to power that. So XLM number two in my book. If you're new to crypto or if you've been in crypto for a while and you still don't feel like you have a strategy, then we have the perfect thing for you because it's one thing to have a strategy, but it's another thing to automate that strategy. So what we're doing right now is a waterfall flash sale. This is the start of week one. We just launched our Stargate automated experience, which gives you access to utilize our custom automatic trading bots that we built for XRP, XLM, HBAR, Algorand, and a bunch of other 
altcoins. If you're sick and tired of watching the charts every single day, worrying, stressing, guessing about prices, and if it's going to go up or down, then look no further than this, because this is the holy grail for any crypto holder or trader. Then you got HBAR for number three, because HBAR is providing that infrastructure, that architecture for these corporations like Google, Meta, Amazon to launch stable coins. You know, they, they just launched their stable coin studio for these corporations to easily launch their own like PayPal USD. You know, why can't all these companies have their own stable coins and then XRP and XLM and launch on Hedera, but then XRP and XLM serving as that neutral bridge currency for the value exchange value transfer those, right? And if we go to HBAR and their website, they're not just dealing with stable coins, they're dealing with CBDCs. They're dealing with smart contracts. They're dealing with digital identity right here. So Stablecoin Studio, the carbon markets and traceability, DeFi, decentralized identity, sustainability, decentralized logs, NFTs, payments, right? So like these use cases are massive and the potential to soak up a lot of value by it being run on Hedera or built on Hedera is, is huge. And all these three coins so far are sustainable. They're cheap. Like look at Hedera, average cost per transaction, a thousandth of a penny. That's for XLM and XRP as well too. Their energy usage is very low based off their consensus mechanism. And the amount of transactions that they can do is scalable enough to reach widespread mainstream adoption. So all three of these coins, massive, and they have the partners, they have the traction, they have the use case, and they've had the pilots. Look at Google, their governing council, Google, IBM, Boeing, Avery Dennison, DBS, LG. And also I believe that Hedera is working with the grid. They're trying to provide an update to the grid for this new financial system that's right on the horizon here. And all three of these coins so far, and this is so key, have a limited supply. They have a limited supply, so 100 billion for XRP, 50 billion for XLM, 50 billion for HBAR. And that might sound like a huge number, but I'm sure the creators made it a huge number because they knew how massive these networks and protocols were gonna be. And the token is a necessity for the function of these protocols. And they knew it needed to scale for the whole global population. So that's probably why there's so much. But when you have something that's limited in supply, that's going to be like the digital commodities to power this new financial system and focusing on use cases that have unlimited demand, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. So HBAR for number three. Then number four, we got XDC. So XDC dealing with trade finance and being partnered up with R3 and being used in Corda Settler and speeding up the way capital markets move. I used to work at Fidelity and when somebody would call in after they bought a stock, they would wonder where their money was. And I was always in crypto. So I was like, oh, it should be in your account. But no, when you trade a stock through your Fidelity TD Ameritrade account, it takes two days to settle. And when you do it with bonds, it takes a day to settle. So XDC is enabling instant settlement of trade finance, securities transaction, capital markets. And that's a map like, you know, I'll pull up all the world's money. And we're talking stock markets, 89.5 trillion for stock markets globally. So massive opportunity there as well, too. And they have the partners to back it up and being tied up with our three, our three being partnered and being used in all these huge pilot projects with all these institutions for XDC, the writings on the wall. Then you have for number four, Render. So I believe Render is gonna be massive because it's dealing and touching upon a lot of the fourth industrial revolution trends, technology trends. That's AI, that's big data, that's VR, GPU rendering. So like with the rise of all this AI, VR, there's gonna to need to be a network or a protocol to be able to handle the GPU of all it and the rendering of all of it and render being launched in 2017 as withstand the test of time. And it does a wide array of computation tasks, basic rendering to AI, and it's facilitated officially on a blockchain-based peer-to-peer network. And their vision is to democratize GPU cloud rendering. And render, as far as price action goes, has performed exceptionally. But as far as their use case, it's massive and it's a necessity moving into this fourth industrial revolution that we're heading into here. And they have the partners to back it up. And they're, you know, in virtual reality, augmented reality, medical, gaming, mixed reality, media, industry, all massive, massive use cases right there. And there's, I think they're partnered up with Apple as well too, Apple as well too. And their team and advisors, massive as well. And then you have some of the inner circle on their advisory team as well too. So Render is definitely number four in my book based off the technicals and based off the fundamentals and their use case. Then for the bonus coin, the bonus coin number six is Flare. 
Because with all these different blockchains and all these walled gardens and fragmented liquidity across the board, you need something that's going to be the connector to enable interoperability between these different ne networks and free up the liquidity between them. So if I was operating on XRP or I had a decentralized app or something on XRP, I could seamlessly move to a different blockchain or connect and in interact with a different blockchain. So if I was on Ethereum, I could easily interact with Avalanche. So Flare is the blockchain for data, providing developers with secure, decentralized access to high integrity da data from other chains and the internet. So it's combining Web2, Web3, and all the different Web3 chains and connecting it all. And that connecting piece of, and that interoperability is so crucial to the ultimate maturity and the widespread and mainstream adoption of all this. So EVM based layer one and it's a layer one and they have their own Oracle, decentralized Oracle and they're partnered with Google Cloud and a bunch of other companies as well. You've got bridging, smart contracts, decentralized data feeds and connecting to web two because how you're going to transfer from web two to web three, you know, it does, it's not that easy, but having these decentralized oracles and being able to securely and seamlessly connect web two to web three, that's what Flare is working on. Plus they pay that passive monthly airdrop for like 28 months here. And I, Flare is down, but I think Flare is going to be a, a big runner in the next bull run when we see the, the widespread adoption of this stuff. So while the price is low, I'm stacking up on Flare to get that monthly passive income and then having that compounding effect to accrue more coins. And then ultimately I'll be thanking myself that I did that when this bull run commences. I think I still need to do a flare 2024 price predictions. I'll be working on that overnight and I'll be dishing that out. But so far for those other coins, we have the price predictions for us. So I'll link the playlist for all those in the description here. Also, it is week two. We got like a couple of days left for week two for our automated bots, our automated trading bots. We have them set up for XRP, XLM, HBAR, not XDC yet, Render, and not Flare yet, but we're gonna have for Flare as well too. We have automated trading bots that have crushed it on all these coins. So week two, you get 50% off. Last week, it was 60% off. This week is 50% off. Next week is 40% off. The week after that, 30% off. So it's a waterfall flash sale for six weeks. So now's the time to strike so you can get an extreme discount on all of our automated trading bots. It's one thing to have a strategy, but it's another thing to automate it. And that's what we did with the Stargate automated experience. So link is in the bio for that. Come tap in, look at the results on these coins for the past years and how the bot performed. I'm sure you're gonna like what you see. And I'll see you over in the Discord. Link is in the bio for that. If you have any questions, Rob at Stargate, friend request me or put in a contact form on the website. We can hop on a call, give you a demo, and we can get you on autopilot by this weekend. So that's going to be it, guys. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Are you sick and tired of just stressing and guessing, holding and hoping, and watching the crypto market go through its ups and downs and not doing anything about it? If you're someone in that position, then look no further than the Stargate automated experience. We just launched it and we built custom automated trading bots for XRP, XLM, HBAR, and a bunch of other utility coins. If that sounds of interest to you and you want to learn more, click the video below and I'll see you over there.